Hey, Healing Place family, hello. Hey, family. I'm checking for y'all. What y'all doing? Hey, healing place, healing place, healing place, healing place. So, happy Tuesday, right? Today's Tuesday. Greetings to you, love and light to you, peace and light to you. What's happening? And if nobody has told you that they love you today, please. If nobody has told you that they love you today, please permit me to be the very first to say that I love you and I like you and I like you. Um, where did I learn what? Where did you learn all that you know like to become who you are? I just study myself. I study books. I'm huge on metaphysical books. I'm huge on spirituality. I study different religions. I love documentaries. I study nature. I'm huge, huge, huge on nature. I love nature. Um, I just Anything that can teach me something, I find it alluring in some way. Elated Earth Anniversary to you, elated. So, like, especially men. If a man can teach me something, I am partial to hear him out a little bit more. Like, like the only reason that my ex-lover got my attention, and he got at me in the DM. The only reason that I really took him seriously is because I began to like watch him from afar and he was really doing the work. Like the shit that he was talking to me about, he was really doing it. Like I was seeing him active in the community getting that shit done. And then um, it was when Hurricane Harvey hit and I watched him like run like ditch batch services and the NAACP sought him out and they fucked him over royally. They fucked his community third war over royally, but he really helped. Like he did so much work and I was like, oh, hmm, what else can you teach me over there? What, 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 what else do you have up your sleeve that I can learn from you? And that's how you get my attention. So also uniting with energies that can teach you something will get you smart. If you are the smartest person in your circle, then you have done your existence a grave disservice. So that that was that was really interesting. I read. I'm always and then like I I, I ask questions. And then I'm not afraid to invest into people that have the answers that I desire. Like, if somebody has something inside of them that I feel like belongs to me, I'm willing to pay whatever the fee is to get it out you. Because I need that. So. That's how. Gum mosquito because uh, y'all, you and roaches do not get a pass from me. And I love animals, but I will kill you. So stay safe and stay the fuck out my way. Yeah, stay on out there because your life's in danger. Molly, you in danger, girl. So. Did I ever drop Tony B's name? Her name is Tony B. T O N I B. Tony B. That's her name. Her real name is Tony B. She um soul healing something. Soul healing. I don't be wanting to mess people's companies' names up, but her name is really Tony. Go look in the comments. She in the comments on my page. But you can get some sea moss and she'll make it for you. And you can rub it all over your skin. And you can eat it because it'll keep you nourished and strong. Yeah, it's Tony B. That's Tony B's name right there. 333 Minority. T-O-N-I-E underscore B underscore. 
she get you some sea moss. She'll hook it up for you and everything. Give you dosage suggestions and everything. It's a game. It's a, but it's a difference between me and what's her name. <laughs> For real, I be tuning in because of your personality is just dope to me. Chicago Dre, if nobody has told you that they love you today, King, let me tell you that you are loved. Hey, Caranzo, yes, my offspring are doing well. Thank you for asking, and I hope you and your loved ones are well also. Um, What up, Ray Christopher? Make my ex want to get it back. That's a fact. How am I doing today? I'm strong, love. I love y'all. Sometimes we be needing some extra encouragement. Cause sometimes you know what I we wanna do? Just give me some head. Just give me some head. Had a hype up in the fish. Won't bring no life into that bitch. This is my verse right here in real life. You see who winning? You see who got it? You see who's still in the bank making deposits? You see who switched up sides and who was solid? You see who stuck to the code and who forgot it? Talk about it, bitch. They don't be talking about it. They don't be talking about it. I done seen a whole lot of shit. They don't be talking about what really be going on. Motherfuckers do not be sticking to the code. They don't, I swear to God. Um, I'm so excited about... Oh, okay, so family, this is the month of August. We're giving away a retreat package. You still got to get your way there and get your way back home. But we're giving away a retreat package. How y'all think we should give away this healing place retreat? We're giving away two of them. We're going to give away one this month and one next month. So how y'all think we should... How you think we should um, give away the retreat package? When I tell you no BS to the side, all BS to the side. No cap. This is a transformational opportunity of a lifetime. I know I'm being ratchet right now. This is why Austin don't like us on her page. We y'all want to go on Raging Reagan page and be ratchet? You want to do ratchet stuff with your friends on Raging Reagan page? Do you want to meet me on Raging Reagan page and do ratchet stuff with your friends? I just want to do ratchet shit with my friends. So y'all tell me. Tell me how we should give away the retreat package because we're giving away two of them. How how should we how should we how should we taking suggestions? If you happen, everybody can submit to win even if you've already registered. And what will happen if you win the retreat package and you've already registered? Then you will just be reimbursed. We just give you all your money back. A lottery drawing? Hmm. A raffle ticket number? Hmm. I think that a raffle? I might come up with something. I might see if Mr. Darby with Unity as well, if he be doing Wishman Collars, he be doing them raffles. It'd be a good opportunity. I'm going to see how we can. Cause you know he running for District D. Jeremy Darby gonna be president, watch. He'll fuck around and be president of the United States before it's all said and done. As you in Houston, District D, surrounded areas, especially Third Ward, go vote for Darby. Now for real, go vote for Mr. Darby. He really got real solutions in real life. Like that shit he be talking about, that's real shit. So.
So I've got to think of a way to do the raffle. What y'all thinking of? Let us know so I can try. Okay. How can you begin to discipline your eating habits? What do you suggest? Stop buying bullshit. Because if you can't buy it, if you can't eat it, if you didn't buy it, so maybe you should stop buying bullshit first. That'll be the first step is to decide that you're not going to buy the bullshit. Then you got to really start exploring healthier snacks because you're going to have to find some shit that's good for you that you like or you're going to buy the bullshit. Don Marcus. Hello. I hope you're well. So, I would love for you to consider that. So, like, really, really, really start finding you some, some snacks, like, good chocolate snacks that are, like, enriched with machada and, like, moringa and that kind of stuff and then like going to get the snacks that you normally would like but trying the healthier version of that shit do you have to do the payments or just the two what do you i don't care how you pay it as long as it's paid off That's why I offer so many variations of payments. I don't care how you pay it off. Just pay it off and come get this help. No rush, but when should we, we be expecting books in the mail? Everybody I have their book mailed out by the 18th of this month. Everybody. Uh, everybody, all the orders, even all of the hundreds and hundreds of pre-orders that we had mailed out on the way to you baby and to the people cause y'all been doing some fuck shit y'all been waiting until y'all get y'all tracking number from the post office y'all updated tracking number and then y'all been going to go um, file disputes with paypal to get your money back Y'all really should be happy that we don't use that Ajna energy for bullshit. We use it to really, really help. Because I would dry your motherfucking in and come. Up. Keep on playing with me. With a smile on my face. I don't do stuff like that though. I operate from a genuine place of integrity. I really do. I really, really do. People do stuff like that all the time. But I, you know, I don't be tripping a lot because them falls cost me too much. But I'm so grateful that I genuinely operate from a place of integrity. Because y'all be tempting the God, boy. Gonna end up in a jar about some stupid shit. <laughs> I didn't even do it. I just let I just let y'all make y'all own plate, and when karma come and serve that shit to y'all, eat it, eat your meal. I ain't hurting nobody, but I ain't blocking nobody karma either. That's yours. You can have that. Maybe have people submit an essay stating why they need to be at the transformational gathering. Girl, I ain't got time to hear that kind of begging. I ain't even got time. I only, uh, girl, my listen. My energy ain't even set up for that kind of begging. I just get it. I just give it away to a worthy party. I don't have time. I don't, my energy, honey, that pull too much on you, people. That be that's dry begging. 
That's setting yourself up for dry begging. Do you know what dry begging is? Dry begging is when somebody figure out a way to tell you all of their motherfucking problems, but they don't ask you for nothing. They like try to place on your subconscious desire to assist. Ah, ah. Nah. I'm just going to do something, figure something out. Y'all can submit. Y'all can, uh, y'all can go ahead and win. And if you want to give it away, you can give it away. If you've already paid your retreat off in full, we'll just reimburse you your money. That'll be some lining in your pocket. But, mm -mm. nah, I ain't set myself up to read through no hundreds and no, baby. You feel like you're worthy. You're supposed to feel like you're worthy. In real life, I would be concerned if you didn't feel like you're worthy. That's why a lot of people aren't making the investment in their self. They think that like this is some kind of vacation. They don't realize like this is real evolutional healing opportunity for your soul. That will not only heal your ancestors in the past who didn't get this shit right. An opportunity for you to make good for your future. Like this isn't just Let's go party and hang out and have fun And meet new people That happen to be spiritually minded No this is the opportunity for you to look in yourself To get rid of what you don't need And to fill yourself with what serves you Whatsoever reason On whatsoever level And many people don't feel like they deserve that Many people don't feel like they deserve the investment that's why they say that they can't afford it. Do you know that anything that you genuinely feel like you deserve, you don't make excuses for not having it. You just go get it. When some shit really belongs to you, when you possess a genuine entitlement to it, because you know, like, this is for me. I put in the work for this. I'm at a place in my life where I need this. This isn't an option for me. You don't give yourself a way out. But when you feel like you don't deserve some shit, the first thing that we usually say to some shit that we feel like we really don't deserve because we're not willing to work it off is I can't afford it. In real life, I learned that the hard way. I learned that even with, with anything in my life, anything that I open up my mouth, well, I don't say what I can't afford. I haven't said that in years. And you know what? I also can't think of the last time that I had to borrow petty money from somebody. Like, I don't remember the last time in my life where I needed somebody to loan me $20. I can't, I literally cannot think of the last time in my life where I was in a situation where I was just like fucked up to a degree that I needed to borrow 10, 20, hold me over until. And I'm so grateful because I remember there was a time where I was in that place for a very, very, very long time. But while I was in that place and I was borrowing 20s and 50s and shit like that, I was taking that money and I was figuring out ways to invest in myself. So I was buying books and I was saving it. I was, can I borrow $200 from you? Can I borrow $20 from you? Can I borrow $50 from you? And I was on my way to a seminar and every motherfucking thing at my house was on disconnect. But what I did know is this, if I don't get this help today next year my shit still gonna be on disconnect and i'm still gonna be fucked up so evidently anything that i have right now is not enough and if it's enough evidently i don't know how to use it and i don't want to stay in this position so i have to make a drastic decision right now i gotta go give me some help now i can immediately resolve what i believe to be a problem and I can stay in this same position or I can do something dynamic for my future that looks like it's temporarily causing me to be more uncomfortable but it's setting me up for destinations to come and I'm so glad that I made those hard decisions I'm so glad I'm so glad that there was a time in my life where I can I can look back at I, I got silver right I got silver. I used to date this guy. He was a professional baccarat player, but he was very wise. Like I told you, I like men that I can learn from. And he impressed me at a time in my life, like to go buy silver. Like, this is your investment. Do not spend this silver. Go. And so I went and I made the call to the company that we get the silver from. And I had that silver. Do you know that I took that silver and I pawned that silver to go 
to a seminar one time he said i was stupid do you know that right now at this point in my life i can buy as much motherfucking silver as i desire by way of investment if i wanted to but from information that i use to exchange see you got to know where to sow your seeds this is not going on vacation this is you planting the seed that you have into fertile ground that's going to give you a return now if you don't think that it's going to give you a return then don't plant the seed but i'm telling you what i know this is fertile ground and it ain't just about me see i done called in six really seven different resources to assist me that have already mastered the things that they come to teach See, I am so elated that this week we're rolling out our features. Like we announced um, CC Casey Cooper, the goddess Casey Cooper of the Compass Circle. And she um, hit me up today and she was like, Queen, so many good things are in the horizon. I just had another $5 million deal run across my table, put my signature on that hole. And it ain't even October yet. And October's when the big money come through. We got Casey Cooper coming to teach us how to diversify our income. And if you don't have any income to diversify, how to get your paperwork in order, what licenses you need in your state and why. Because just from licensing alone, you can write your own checks. Did you know that certain certifications are just money in the bank? When you get certain certifications, there are companies that look you up to spend money with you because they have diversification clauses and they get money from the federal government to do business with people who look like this. So when they get down to the end of the year and they ain't did business with people who look like this, they call us up and beg us to take their money. I didn't know that until Casey started turning me on to it. I had no clue. I had no clue. So that's just an example of the feelings and finance portion that we'll be getting to in case you're going to show us how to get to the money. Like I'm a woman. I'm a mother. I've been divorced. I know what it's like to be navigating through your life and still have to manage keeping your head above the water and making sure that the check's fucking clear. I can show you how to do that. I can show you how to do that. So we got Casey Cooper coming through to show us how to do that. I used to be taking like my last 10 fucking dollars. Paying my dues to get into a seminar to hear somebody else tell me about how good they were living. And you know why? Because it inspired me to live well. It wasn't a healing place transformational gathering where they were actively actually showing me how to get well in my life. They were just reminding me that a better life is out there for you. See, we took it to a whole nother level in the healing place. We don't just tell you that it's out there. We show you how to get it. And after we show you how to get it and you got it, if you still don't know how to use it, we'll teach you how to use it too. What is the it? You're the it. Everything that you need is inside of you. Everything that you desire, you possess. Even if you don't possess it in trees, you possess it in seeds. Sow your seeds accordingly. You wish you could be there? I don't give a fuck about your wish. If you want it to happen, you will make it happen. And I mean that sincerely. Because I know what myself and what the presenters are doing. We're doing inner works right now. We're positioning ourselves for downloads straight from creation to you. If you ain't in alignment to receive it, we ain't about to beg you to motherfucking take it. But don't tell me how you wish you would or wish you might when the opportunity sets before you. When you really want it, you make the sacrifice. Sorry, yeah, you are bothering me. What's up? I can, I'm just taking care of all the bugs, like ants, spiders, bees everyone's been seeing. What do you mean taking care of them? Oh, so we're just kind of treating the homes inside and outside this week and the beginning of next week. So you're killing bugs? Basically. I have no desire to join you on your quest. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank so, you. Yeah, in the future, yeah, we use bears. Even so in the future, kids. I will have no desire to kill bugs. Okay. Yeah, they're uh, here because that's where they belong. Yeah. I and and I true. seek natural resources. I took rosemary in the corners of my home. We use natural mint, cotton balls. Yeah, mint it works. around the house. Good. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Thank you kindly. Well, yeah. Enjoy your day. You too. Sorry to bother you. Awesome. Have a good one. Yeah.
But yeah, family, I love you and I appreciate you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at our transformational gathering. I truly am. I truly, truly am. So, I need to make a custom payment. Is that an option? Yes. Um, the Healing Place. Um, at the Healing Place Customer Service. THP Customer Service at gmail.com. Yeah, we allow custom payments. Yes. Mm -hmm. Will you have to pay them separately? You will, but we'll have to keep all it all above board. So, we'll have to be like to know to go into our books and take it off your total. Just email. We talk about business through email so that you can have your paper trail and we can have ours the DM is never appropriate place to talk about business it don't matter it don't matter what somebody told you out of their mouth it ain't real until you write it that's why like I just I just I just I just I'm growing through something I had somebody that was really really close that I do business with um I was thinking of how we could merge our partnership and solidify it for longevity and what had happened was they had ended up sending me a contract that was so fucking disrespectful to not only the business partnership but the personal relationship that we shared and then they had let me know like well you know I didn't read it it came from my administrator blah 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 but I was just so still, I'm still raw. I'm still very, very raw about it. Like it, it changed things. It changed things drastically. And it was just like so fucking disrespectful. And what segued me into that specific conversation is this. It doesn't matter how somebody said that they fuck with you out of their mouth. Their actions will always tell the story. Even if they end up delivering a fucked up message. You got to care about the people that you care about enough to make sure that you ain't the bearer of bullshit. So I love for you to really consider paying attention to everything. It doesn't matter what nobody say out their mouth. If they're not willing to write that down, immortalize the moment, do a video about it. It ain't real until it's real. And it ain't real until it can be tested. It ain't real until you can test and try that shit and it show you that it's got longevity within it. It doesn't matter what type of front somebody will try to put up. It don't matter what type of front somebody will try to convince you. You know it's real because of the way that shit feel. And if they're not willing to immortalize it properly and make sure that they are showing you genuine love and authenticity and not taking into consideration the fact that you are who you are because judging people by who you are is going to get you fucked up every time, Reagan Mitchell. You know. You know. People are not like you, and that's okay. But you must find out who they are so that you can accurately decide if you want to be in the company of them or not. And I will reiterate to you, Healing Place family, that it ain't real until it can be tested. And oftentimes we are so subconsciously already aware that the shit ain't real. We don't put it in the position to be tested. So that means that we let a lot of bullshit slide. That means that we don't call things to the carpet. That means that we do ourselves a disservice and dishonesty to ourselves by pretending that we didn't see what we saw or we didn't hear what we heard or we didn't experience what we experienced and we didn't feel what we felt because we don't want it to be tested because on the inside we know it's not really real but I'm telling you what I know. If you desire to save yourself some pain, test that shit. Make motherfuckers put their actions where their words are. Test it. 
Test it. It ain't going to ever be no way around testing it. That feeling that you get that make you want to shake. That feeling that you get that makes you feel like a child. Like, you know, this reminds me of when I got my feelings hurt by my friends before. That feeling that you get where you feel like you've been abandoned. That feeling that you get also comes with a courage that is difficult to explain and must be experienced after you begin to take up for yourself and stand on your principles. After you have the audacity to test that shit. Hold your motherfucking nuts. Tuck your ovaries, ladies. Clinch it. You know what? Sometimes, oftentimes, very oftentimes, I put my hand between my legs and I clinch this motherfucker because I remember that not only am I me, I am a woman, a black woman in the Americas, dipped in melanin. I am the closest thing to God that you will ever reach in life and I hold this motherfucking power to give and take life to create you will never ever encounter another human life that didn't originate from the original life giver not in its not in its most authentic form and sometimes when I feel myself slipping away I just grip this motherfucking power I can give life I can take life with this motherfucker World wars have started and ended behind some pussy, and I got one. I'm a woman. And on top of that, I'm a black woman. I'm that powerful. Sometimes that's the type of shit that I do in the mirror and get myself up and get my energy up to go test some shit that I don't want to test. And after it crumbles, because so often it crumbles, and when I realize I am still left standing here, it just reminds me to be true to myself because I am the cement that I can count on. I am the foundation that I can count on. And so often when we get afraid to test situations, it puts us in a place where we no longer trust ourselves because we don't trust ourselves to be strong enough to make it through the test. That's why we don't want to test it. Ain't no way around the test. Ain't no way around it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like that feeling that, that artists get before they perform. Like that butterflies in your stomach. Like that feeling that you get before you go on a roller coaster or before you jump off a bridge where it's vertigo and it's adrenaline and it's so many different things and it's love and it's fear and it's panic and it's anxiety and it's yours. And inside of that swirling world of all of those dynamics of energy is your capacity to create anything that you want. And I pray you make you a better you. I pray you manifest a stronger version of yourself. I pray you tap into your power. I pray you unleash yourself. I pray you unlock yourself. I beg of you, test that shit. I beseech you. That shit you scared to see if it's really real, test that shit. And if it ain't really real, get it the fuck away from you. I beg of you. I beseech you. I pray. Test that shit. I know what it's like to be scared to test it. I know. That's all the more reason why you got to test it. Because that same feeling that you got about what if it ain't real? What, what about finding out that it wasn't never real when it's everything on the line? Test that shit and test it early. And if it ain't real, get it out the fucking way. I don't want nothing gold plated. I don't want it. If I can't see the clarity, if I can't sense the quality, if I can feel the integrity of it, keep it. So much so that I'm willing to be alone in every arena. So many people be like, why, why do you always say that you would let your man sleep with another woman? Because it's a certain kind of man that gets me. And that's the kind of God they can get it however the fuck he like it because he done earned his position he ain't just anybody when I'm talking about the man that I wouldn't mind sharing it's not your baby daddy bitch that's why you don't understand it don't judge that God from the sins of your past that ain't him that ain't him it ain't your ex it ain't your baby daddy now unto him who was able to keep me from falling and present me faultless. Him, that kind of God, he can get it out there that he like it. And I'm willing to stand alone 
until he show up. So much so that I don't even entertain myself with the bullshit as much as I used to, even when I be heavily tempted. Sometimes I really do. Like, we joke about the way that my neighbor be talking about he noticed, like, I don't have no milk company and shit like that. Because I really don't. I really don't. This pussy good because I keep it to myself. I don't squander it. Mm-mm. So when the right one slide in and feel like home, he can make himself at home. So I ain't allowing you peasants to occupy his throne until he get there. No, thank you. Because when he show up, I ain't going to mind. He can get it however he like it. Because he going to do it the way I want it. And that ain't your baby daddy. That ain't your ex. It ain't him. Nah, I wouldn't want to share your motherfucking ex either. He ain't enough man for you. Let alone enough for us. I ain't sharing no man. Girl, if you, if the man that you're thinking about we got to share is your husband, he ain't enough to share. you damn right. You ain't got to share him. He ain't enough to share. He barely enough for you, bitch. You're right. Don't share him. <laughs> Don't share him. He can barely catch you, let alone catching us. Nah, he ain't him. <laughs> I have to just make that clear. Because that's what women think about. Women think about sharing a man. They think about, they talk about all of the men from their past who has used them and abused them and barely been enough for them. They be like, I ain't no way in the world I would ever share no man, bitch. I wouldn't share him either. He barely enough for you. No, we can't share him. Mm. Mm. Yikes. Go, go, gadget, poverty. I'm not about to be slumming with you and him. Shit. How do you do? Let me see. How do you deal with a female? Well, first you start calling them females. That's mad over a dude and continues to dis to be disrespectful and say, fuck my dead loved ones. And I've been trying to stay a lady. No, you haven't because you be stalking her page. Ooh, ooh, you just got, ooh, you with the bullshit. And you be trying to play so unbothered. And he do be still talking to her. Ooh. I would love for you to really stop playing crazy on this internet. <laughs> you do so much. And you be stalking that girl. <laughs> Y'all better be careful. Y'all better be careful, careful, careful. Who is R A G A N? Who the fuck is that? Who is that? Who is that R A G A N? Who who is that? I cannot stand when people try to be personal about with me and then they fuck my name up. Easy. I love you right back. You're excused. I really don't like it though. Like it really like that's something like that. It's a trigger for me. 
Like when people be trying to be extra cool and like want to call you by your name, but then still manage to fuck your name up. Like you ain't gotta be. Why you gotta say my name? Like why you gotta say it and fuck it up? You ain't gotta say it. To them strong. I'm about to hang up though. How do you stay motivated and how do you keep how to keep your eye on the prize? How to stay motivated, how to keep your eye on the prize. Yo, what's your why? You don't even know what you want. You don't even do any work. How do you stay motivated? Stay motivated to do what? You don't even do anything. Nothing as far as like what you, the people that you be looking to, that you are jealous and admire at the same time. This is really interesting. The same people that you look to, you don't do anything that they do. You're not doing any work. So what do you mean? How do you stay motivated? How do you stay motivated for work that you don't even start? You don't know what you want, love. Please consider this. And I'm so sincere. What is your why? And what do you want? First, you got to figure out what you want. And then you really, really have to figure out why you want it. And in that is motivation. When you figure out, I have to have this. And I have to have this for this reason. Once you figure those two things out, it's so much motivation in that. But people be trying to pump fake like they need some advice for shit that they don't even do. Like, how do you, go, how do you keep working? Are you, how do you start working should have been the question that I would love for you to consider asking. really excited about the Healing Place Retreat. Do you think I should write down what I want in a man, a vision board that I want for my future to look like? Do it. I would love for you to consider the fact that you ask about a man before you ask about your future. And how many times in your life that you put men above your truest desires. And you're still recovering from heartache from that. And that feeling that you've been getting, that knot, those knots that you've been getting, that's heartache. And please pay attention to that. That feeling that you've been getting, that sharp pain that's been shooting through. I would love for you to really consider that. And no, it's not endometriosis. Do not, please don't let them curse you like that. And um, Chef Aki has a cleanse, a wound cleanse that will help you tremendously. And once you focus on really getting healthy, really, really, really getting healthy, the other things in your life will begin to make sense. Work on your healthy avatar, please. And after you're working on your healthy avatar and paying attention to what your body is communicating to you, then you will be able to put yourself in a place in your life where you can see clearly your future. When we are not healthy in our bodies, it's difficult for us to see good futures for ourselves because we're subconsciously thinking, I may not make it to the future because we're ignoring, ignoring what our bodies are telling us in the present. And, and you think about death so much. Hmm. Everything is okay. You could really use a cleanse. Really, really like, get with Chef Aki. Um, Chef Aki, that is her name. And do a good cleanse. A good cleanse. And after you do 30 days of a really, really, really good cleanse, and, you, and you'll feel it. Then ask yourself, what do you want for your future? Not just a man. Not just a man. 
but for your future. And then when you begin to think about that, and because you're so stubborn, and that's okay because we can relate to this stubborn energy. Okay, you're focused on a man. Wow. All right. Well, this is what I got, I got for you. You're whole without a partner first. Please consider that to be truth. You are whole without somebody else constantly giving you their stamps of approval by way of I love you. And you a whole woman even without some random man always sticking his dick in your pussy to validate your womanhood. You a woman without sex. You a woman without compromise. You are whole. You are whole. But as you heal the parts of yourself that feel like you need something to complete you, write down what it is that you truly want in a man and then genuinely ask yourself, are you the caliber of woman at this time that is worthy of that kind of man? And then if you are honest in your evaluation, Actively begin to do the things that that kind of woman would do that that kind of man would be proud to say that's my old lady that's a great place to start and then after you become the kind of woman that that kind of man would like you will realize just how much that kind of man is beneath you and you will elevate yourself to a place where the kind of man that you deserve will find you first. You won't have to go looking for him. You ain't gonna have to do no magic. You ain't gonna have to call in no favor. He gonna find you. But the kind of man that you like don't like the kind of woman that you are right now. And that is clingy and that is needy and that is dishonest. I would love for you to really consider that. And I apologize if this was harsh. And if you would like to expedite your evolution to any capacity, please meet us at the Healing Place Transformational Gathering in 2019 because it's gonna be so many amazing energies there and you may just come across the kind of energy that you wanna share yourself with, but even more so, you are going to be laced and gifted and taught so many ways to heal yourself, to unlock yourself, to appreciate yourself. And that's something that no matter how amazing he is or how much he loves you, that love ain't gonna ever feel as real as it feel when you know the authenticity, authenticity of the vibration by truly loving yourself. The deeper that you love yourself, the more authentically that you love yourself, the quickly you gauge people when they come with that fake love, false flag bullshit. You pick up on it quick. Your energy picks up so it just feels it and just say this ain't real. Or even when it starts off real, because I dealt with a situation where shit switched up in the middle. And I went to, I actually got a reading about it. Like, what happened here? Because it, I, I never seen this specific instance manifesting because people do shift. The energies do change. But that is one of the things that you can actively gauge. Actively, actively gauge within yourself. The more that you love you deeply in an authentic light the more quickly you can gauge when other people are not truly loving on you. Because you know what it's like to truly love yourself now. And it has nothing to do with anybody doing anything in specific for you. It has everything to do with the intentions. And you can literally feel the frequency of the intentions of others. So much so that even if a person does some bullshit, you can sift through it enough to say, hey, their intentions at the core are still pure with me. Maybe they were just having a challenging day. Maybe it was inappropriate 
appropriate time to ask that question. Maybe it just isn't in my favor to do this right now, but we still have a very solid bond. You'll be able to feel that with a more authentic vibration too, the more deeply you get in communication with yourself. You'll also be able to express yourself um, when you are encountering injustices with much more integrity too. Oftentimes when we don't love ourselves properly, we have very poor communication with ourselves and we end up having very poor communications with other people. And that may look like um, you having something on your heart and instead of saying how you really feel, you just be like, fuck it, because you ain't going to understand anyway. And you hang up. And you use that as validation for not expressing yourself with integrity to let the other party know how you've been done an injustice and why you feel this way. When you don't communicate with yourself properly, your communications with others suck ass. So that's why it's really important for us to build these relationships with ourselves and communicate with ourselves in an authentic light and love to that capacity. Starting with us, starting with us, ending with everything else. Hey Shay. Yeah. Mama. Yes. What? If like you're craving craving for like a candy or something in class, mm -hmm. like uh, you can like you can get a like empty balloon catch and get some candy and put it in it. Well, you better not be looking for ways to smuggle in candy in class. To what? You trying to smuggle in candy and gum in school? You looking up ways to how to do that without getting caught? No, they already showed me. They really showed you and you really want to do it? Yeah. Why? I don't know. How they show you how to do it? Uh, like, you like twist the like cat, twist the like glue up all the way. Then like you take it out and make sure it's clear, cleaned all the way out. Then you can put candy or something in it. That's too much work. How? No. I don't know, but I'll get you some supplies and we can see about doing it. Okay. I don't know if I should really be aiding in the bedding you learning how to smuggle candy. I don't know what you mean smuggle candy. We'll talk about it. Uh, to me it sounds like like uh Smell sounds kinda like breaking the law. No, smoke candy. Not smoke, smuggle. That's what it sounds like to me. No, we ain't smoking. And also not smoke candy. Okay, get out. What if the person you want to communicate with is in jail and you want to say injustices they done because they might, because you might get them incarcerated? Leave their ass alone. If they already in jail, why do you have to feel like you got to pour salt in the wound?